Hello, hello, hello. So, <clears throat> uh, welcome to my second BJJ live stream. Um, live stream, live stream. Um, so, uh, had a really good response uh, last week from uh, people uh, about um, about what I've learnt from uh, training around the world, <clears throat> and uh, I wanted to address a couple of questions that I've I've had uh, on on a couple of my videos and uh, the one of the questions is which is the best uh, academy to go to which is the best academy uh, or gym so <clears throat> I've um, I've got my top three things uh, about how to pick a gym and then you can work out which is the best now, <clears throat> number, uh, and we'll go, <clears throat> the most important thing, um, thanks James, <laughs> uh, so the most important thing uh, about uh, which is the best gym for you, because they're all, they're all different, and there's no one definitive best gym, but the first one is where you can get to. Now, 10th Planet, you see my 10th Planet t-shirt, big up to Scott uh, over in 10th Planet London. It is awesome. I love 10th Planet. Um, I love the moves. I love the, 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 the innovative thinking that uh, the guys in 10th Planet have got. Um, and well, as you, if you've uh, if, as you, if you've watched a couple of my videos, you'll know that I went to LA to train with, with Eddie. Um, specifically to, to kind of start, you know, or not start, but think about the 10th planet system. Love it, love it, love it, love it. But the nearest 10th planet to me is 10th planet London, and that's about an hour and a half away from my house, which I know some of you are going to say, an hour and a half, I travel an hour and a half for a, for a jiu-jitsu class. Well, that's, that's fine, you can travel that. But uh, I've got another um, uh, club, which is Gi, and my personal choice, I wanted to do no Gi, but there's a Gi club 10 minutes from my house, 10 minutes by bike from my house. So just the, the numbers don't fit to, for me to train regularly at 10th Planet. You know, uh, if Mrs. rings up, says, oh, I'm going to go to a meeting after work, I'm going to be home an hour and a half later, I just can actually cycle to uh, raise academy which is a great academy but uh, and it but it's gi it happens to be 10 minutes from my house I can cycle there do an hour session cycle back and be back in an hour and a half before missus gets home from work you know it's it just allows me to get there whereas if i went to 10th planet it'd be an hour and a half i'd only be getting there like in in time it takes me to get those sessions so it's just the, the where you can get to the best gym in the world Maybe uh, on the other side of town, on the other side of the country, if you can't get there, it's it's not it's not going to be the one for you. Right. I'm, not, no, I'm, sure, I'm not saying don't go there, and if you find a nice gym like, um, like you know, that's a bit further away, speak to them. Say, look, I can't come every week. I can't come you know twice a week, whatever. And and you know, speak to them. Most people are quite cool uh, about your situation. We're all we're all adults we're all living this world um and we understand that other people you know quite kind of live uh yeah live the lives which allows you to do stuff all right okay so that's the most important thing where is the gym the second most important thing i've found in the times that i've been um around is uh one that you want to go to so if you go to a, an academy and they beat you up and you just like, or, or they're just rude to you, you're not want to go. You're not going to want to go back there again. <clears throat> Maybe once you want to go, twice you want to go, but jujitsu is a long-term sport. It's you, you can't really do much in a, in a year. I mean, other sports you can take up for a year, try out. You know, do you know do it once or twice for instance skiing is a great one because you have to go away for skiing so you'll find people who are quite happy at their skiing level they go away once twice a year 
You can't do that with jiu-jitsu. You've got to be in it for the long haul. So um, um, you're looking at two years for most gyms to get to the first belt. Okay, So if there's a gym that you don't like, you don't enjoy, you're not going to go there long term. So that's my second most important thing when looking at a gym. Um, if you keep getting injured, uh, and you can you can t test you can see by the gym when you get there you can see what people are talking about. If there's a lot of injuries going on there, again you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to train effectively. Um, if you get injured, you can't train. So if the club's uh, favours, and I've said this a few times personally, this is all personal opinion. Uh, if a club favours flow rolling. That's the one for me because I'd rather flow roll and do a kind of technique based soft uh, rolling, you know, five times a week rather than going all out once or twice, getting injured and then having to take a few days off or a week off and then going again, oh, all again. Overall, yeah, flow rolling, you may not learn quite as much. Personally, I think you learn more, but you you know, even if you go with the argument that you're not going to learn as much when, when going soft as when you're going hard, um, just the sheer amount of it you can do outweighs the, the going hard kind of mentality. Okay, so second one is uh, somewhere you want to go to. Now, as I say, it's a long-term sport. You know, it's two years, two years to get to the first kind of belt to blue belt roughly so if the guys there aren't on your wavelength if they're like i don't know maybe they're maybe they their language they swear too much and you don't like swearing it you're not gonna want to go there four times a week five times a week you're not gonna want to kind of slip an extra session in if there's any reservations so it's all about personal preference but if you don't want to go there then I'd kind of look for another 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 gym. The other thing is your instructor. Okay, I've been to a lot of gyms. I've been to a lot of gyms all around the world: America, Europe, England, a lot of places in England. And I, I travel a lot. I go to a lot of gyms, and there's different instructors with different uh, mentalities, different ideas about jujitsu. And okay, I'm lucky because I live in London, so there's a lot of clubs around me, but if you go along to one and uh, and it's a little bit Cobra Kai, a little bit no mercy, a little bit, I don't know, kind of, they're not your friend, they're your enemy. Uh, it, for me, that's that's not that's not my not my thing. So you know, I kind of, and I have seen it. I've seen a, a few a few places like that. I've been to a few places like that. I've also been to a few places where uh, they've really like hammered me and I said hey dude what's what's up oh you did such and such to that white belt and no, no, I don't like that I'm like whoa I roll real soft you know I, I don't I, I so oh, whoa and it's much better I think for the instructors to say hey dude calm it down you know this guy's new or this guy, you shouldn't be doing that or whatever rather than just beating you up because you've done something that I don't like you know so somewhere you want to go to and that comes down to the, to the atmosphere the mentality of the club and the instructors okay and some people and i was chatting to somebody uh i was chatting to um in fact i was chatting to was it junior at uh roger grace's academy uh last week uh, about a place that i've been going to and uh, not recently of course because i haven't been training in lockdown first day back today first day back after lockdown uh, and anyway, I was talking to Junior about this. This and there was this. This uh, there'd been this argument between an, an instructor and 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 the owner of a gym who was also an instructor. Oh no, he hates him. He hates him. I went, whoa, 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 whoa! I don't think they hate each other. Just one of them um, really is um, a professional athlete. He he, he trains uh, straight, focused. And, and and really um, on point and fitness and and hard uh, hard physically not hard for for you know kind of you know hurting you but you know you have to you have to be fit and and, and uh, up to 
yeah, to to train with him. Whereas the other guy was more in we we we're in a London-based club. We have quite, quite quite a few members who come after work. They don't really want to kind of you know kind of leave it all on the mat. They just want to kind of you know have a break between work and going home or whatever it is. And both ideas are completely valid. There's nothing wrong with either of them. Okay, but if you want to go hard and you go to a gym where everybody's like, yeah, cool, flowy. You know, it's it's not the one. It's not the one for you. And number three, okay, my third thing that I reckon is the third most important thing is um, uh, the third most important thing. Is, sorry, I'm just reading the thing. So James Gills asked a question. I will answer that, James. I will answer him. So um, objective. What's your objective? Okay, what do you want to get out? And this feeds back into that last example I, I've got. If you want to be a top level or it's just a competitive, uh, competitive um, jiu-jitsu player, you need to find a coach who's going to be kind of working up towards that. If you want to be a, uh, you know, a, a three times a week enjoyment kind of player, a weekend warrior, I think you know, call it, then you need to find a kind of flowy kind of place. Now, my other example was 10th Planet. 10th Planet is no gi. I love no gi. Okay, but that's that comes third. I had to find somewhere that was close, somewhere that was had the same the, my mentality and was friendly for, for or my kind of friendly. And then third was objectives. Okay, so yeah, okay, you find a gym. Okay, it's right it's three 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 roads away from your house. Fantastic, the beautiful location, and the guys lovely there, but. They're teaching um, a meridote or whatever it is. Okay, uh, no, actually, you know, I want to do jujitsu. So there is a level that actually, if you, it's not what what you want, then you know you can go in. But that's my three, my third out of the three important things to look for a gym. Okay, so which is the best gym and why? That's the best gym and why. Okay. Um, so I have been around to a lot of places, and uh, some of you uh, may notice I'm not 18, okay? A little bit over 18, not much, but I'm over 18. And so um, I've kind of got to a point where I don't mind tapping early. Also, I don't mind just kind of making my excuses and leaving. So I'm traveling around the world. And this is super important. This isn't out of the best gyms. This is just advice from me having done this a lot. Going around to all these gyms. And I go into one and it's a little bit hard. Then I put in, you know, put in the, the, the subs on a little bit too aggressively. Or they're doing some, like neck cranks while they're moving around. I am perfectly happy to kind of go, oh, is that the time? Ah, oh, Struth, I forgot. I've got to um, meet somebody. I've got to go. Bye. They don't know who I am. Doesn't matter. I just walk out of there. Okay. It's if it's a new gym you've never been to before and you don't like it for whatever reason, just walk out. Tap early, and just and just leave. Yeah. Trouble is, ego gets involved. Ego gets involved in. I've, I've felt it myself, and I've seen it a lot more than I felt it. Where people are, like, no, no, I can't, I can't just tap out, and they'll think I'm rubbish. They don't know who you are. <laughs> you've never met them before. It's a new, new club you've been to. It doesn't matter. They're just, just tap. Oh yeah. Oh wow. That's yeah. That's fine. No, you had it. You had it. You had it. And and then oh, I've got to go. If it's one person, you know, just tap early and then roll with somebody else. That's fine. If it's the whole club, then just make your excuses and leave. Okay. It's not worth. Being getting injured for, and if lots of people do this at a club, the club's not going to do so well, and somebody's going to look around and kind of go, "Hey, every time we do this person runs a class, the newbies don't stay," you know, and then they'll kind of why is that? And they can change, they can change. All right. So my advice to you is when you're going around trying out new gyms, and I really do think you should. I don't understand this. <laughs> I don't understand this old school mentality of you train with us, you train nowhere else. 
I don't understand it. Um, I don't understand it. I, I do it for fun. I do it, like I've said last week, I do it as a sport that I can just take around the world and just meet new people and just rock up. Um, uh, rock up and roll, I call it. You know, slap, bump, let's go and just, just, just have a play. Yeah, it's about winning. Yeah, it's about getting better. But it's still just, just a sport. So when somebody, and I've had a couple of gyms saying, yeah, you can come down and try out. But if you start training with us, you can only train with us. I was like, whoa, that's, that's not, my, not my bag, baby. Um, and for me, the other clubs that were more welcoming, they're quite often, yeah, come in, please. We, we, you know, what, what, what have you done? What's your, what's your favorite move? Because we want to see your favorite move because we've been learning this, this sort of thing. And, oh, you do a bit of, do a bit of rubber guard. Oh, come on, let's, let's, let's play that. Let's see what rubber guards are like. They want new information coming in. Okay. And so I found that, that most gyms are happy for, for you to kind of switch around because it's new information. Of course, you're going to have your, your basic gym because it's the one close. It's the one you, your friends go to. It's the one you go to a lot. But for me, when I'm, on, uh, when I'm away working, I can't train for a couple of weeks at my normal gym because you know, I'm away. So I'll train somewhere else. And, and I get some really good ideas from there, take it back to my gym, take some of the ideas I've got from my gym to them. It's all good. It's all good. So just, you know, that's that's just my opinion when going to new clubs. Okay, so James says, uh, best advice to anyone learning techniques through DVDs or learning online? <sighs> Get a buddy. Get a buddy. Uh -huh. That's that's my advice. Um, when I first started, I saw about the Gracie Garage kind of, mentality and and the the grace university when they started putting their online stuff together and when they first started putting it out it was a really good idea that you could learn online they give you the techniques but you had to have a buddy that you kind of kind of work with so best advice to anyone learning techniques from dvds and learning online get a buddy okay so instantly as soon as there's a buddy there's another uh perspective Okay, there's another person involved, which will mean you have to compromise. You, you might want to do leg locks, leg locks, leg locks, leg, and then you get a buddy and they're not into leg locks. You've got to say, okay, again, <laughs> the levels, isn't it? Okay, he doesn't want to do leg locks, fine. I really want to do leg locks, but I'd rather have a buddy who wants to come and train with me at my house or his garage or wherever it is. I'd rather have a buddy that wants to train with me than get my leg locks. Okay, and then the next thing is, uh, online or uh, online online uh, it's interesting it's very interesting it's very easy to belittle the online or the DVD work very easy and when I say belittle it is when you say right I'm going to follow this guy I'm going to buy uh, you know uh, Gordon Ryan's DVDs or, or whoever they are Gordon Ryan, especially the big guys, they've put a lot of time and effort into those DVDs. And <laughs> Snowman, hate leg locks. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, uh, yeah, they've put a lot of time and effort into these DVDs. And the big guys, the guys who are famous, the guys who've got a lot of success with their teaching, not necessarily with the on the mats, because just because they're a world champion doesn't mean they're good at teaching, but the ones who are good at teaching as well. Their reputation's at stake, so they're going to put a lot of time and effort into the DVDs. So, believe it. Go with it. It's so easy, when you're online or on a DVD, to kind of go, oh, that's I've seen that somewhere else, and look it up on YouTube. Now, there's a, there is some good stuff to be had on YouTube, but usually, if somebody's taught you something, whether it's at a real academy, or an online academy, a real academy, yeah, a, 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 yeah, it's a real. Is it really? Yeah, it's a real academy. Yeah. A real academy or online academy. Um, they've taught you something that they know that they've put years into. The little tweaks they've got are for them, and they can explain it. And this, my problem with DVD is you can't just go, "Hey, stop that! Why do you do that?" With a, a live academy, you can always stop the instructor at the end of the at the end of the session. Say, "Why do you do this?" Okay. 
But that aside, if you start muddying the waters by watching a YouTube video of some other bloke doing it or this bloke doing it or seeing it in UFC or seeing it here, seeing it here, it muddies the water. There's a reason why uh, Roger Gracie has his set of, of, of moves in that set of uh, kind of, you know, progress. And Gordon Ryan might have to start with a position to move over here. One's not better than the other. They're different. They're completely different. And this is the thing with, with jiu-jitsu. There's so many variables. Um, so many variables. That there's no right way or wrong way. I mean, yeah, obviously there's a right way and a wrong way. You know, trying to... You know, <laughs> trying to choke with fingers is, is the wrong way but when you're looking at specific moves or, or techniques two people may have different uh, techniques completely different but they're for different reasons usually the progression on from them well I do it this way so that if they roll away from me I can do da 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 um, and the other person says well I do it this way and I stop them rolling away from me Okay, so that you, your balance is instantly different whether you want them to run away or not and therefore that's going to change your uh, you know the whole technique so that's my best advice to anyone learning techniques through DVDs or learning online is pick one that you like same as before one that you can afford one, one that you can sorry my cat's attacking uh, oh, attacking the box okay um, so when you're picking a place an online uh, or DVD pick one and stick with it okay whether there's a book with it or whatever stick with it you know forever but their their progression their map their roadmap will be their roadmap okay and <laughs> Kyle says why ignore 50% of the body the Brazilians are so sorry about that yep um, <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know. I, I um, I'm always, 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 not always. I quite a lot uh, catch white belts in straight ankle locks on purpose because they're so easy to defend. Oh, so easy to defend if you know what they are, and um, because quite a lot of places just don't do any leg locks. So uh, straight ankle locks, which are legal, uh, white belt in gi, um, they've never seen them before, and you catch them, and you get uh, like that, dude. This is just just boot and you and you can do this and you can get out that way, and so I'm I'm quite often catch white belts, especially the higher white belts, and because they've never seen them before, and it's really nice to kind of kind of show them and say, look, this is, this is where it's coming from. It's so easy to defend. Um, yeah, I mean, if I catch a blue belt in it, I am kind of going, hey, dude, somebody should have told you this before, and um, yeah. Anyway. So uh, that's it. That's all I was going to uh, cover today. So the three most important things to think about, or right, the best gym and why, that's the name of the, the, the live stream, best gym and why. The best gym for you is the one that you can get to and the one that you want to go to and the objectives uh, that you want to get out of it, whether it's competi competition, a bit of like relaxation at the end of the day yeah okay so Carl I'm not knocking the lineage but I think people get caught up in the old ways <laughs> that's true that's true there is a the, the interesting thing is that's a good point by Carl I feel that a good jiu-jitsu player somebody who deserves their their black belt and um, I'm not I'm not saying I just not even close. When I look, when I roll, or when I follow, or when I have instruction from a black belt, they have a complete game. They have a complete game. Any black belt worth their salt, purple belt, brown belt, uh, purple belt should not cause them too much trouble. Okay? Brown belt, obviously, they're, you know, kind of getting like that. So the old ways, so if, if you roll with Roger Gracie, for instance, or Junior, who's, who's my uh, instructor at Roger Gracie's Academy, I know leg locks. I know 10th Planet. I know 10th Planet. I know leg locks. I know my... And he, obviously, uh, he's a black belt. 
he allows me to do heel hooks. You know, it's it's in gi, but he allows me. He just doesn't care. He doesn't need to know leg locks because he is his game is so complete. He can see them coming, escapes them, puts them out, neutralizes them. All right. Whereas if you go to somewhere that's uh, real heavy on on uh, no gi and the leg locks one of their black belts, you won't be able to kind of attack their arms. Okay? But the lower levels, the lower levels of these clubs, they just haven't learned everything. So you go to a gi uh, place that does no leg locks, and you roll with the white belts and the blue belts, you're going to catch them in leg locks all day long, because they just haven't seen them. Because Gracie, traditional Gracie systems, Start with the positions and the you know side control mount etc etc and work on the upper body and then as you become better and better then you start working out how to neutralize the legs whereas the modern systems you know the, the no gi the tenth planet stuff leg locks leg lock leg locks and if you go with a you know a, a white belt you know or a blue belt from from a, a, a real no gi place. You'd be able to you know, lock them up and, and arm locks, wrist locks, etc., etc., because they've been working on the legs. But when they get up to black belt, they're complete. So it doesn't matter where you go. If you follow on a good instructor and a good system, when you get to the top, you'll be complete. Yeah. And, and yeah, and that, that, that's it. So, um, so it's not about uh, which is the best. It's in, in that in that format, whether it's leg locks or no leg locks, it's just where you start. You start with legs and you kind of work up the body, or you start at the shoulders and you work down to the legs. By the time you get to black belt, you've got everything. Or well, you should have. Uh, that's kind of the plan. Okay, so thank you very much for joining us. Um, please uh, share, like, make some comments. Um, I am planning on doing one next Wednesday, but... If you could, if you, if you could, if you have an idea of what you want me to talk about, I can uh, can do it next Wednesday. So any ideas, then um, pop them in the messages uh, or the comments, and I'll try and cover something that you want me to cover. In my experience of running around the world and uh, jujitsu in jujitsu and around the world, rock up and roll. Okay, now we're approaching advanced belts. Do you ever consider teaching? Oh. If so, would your freediving coaching experience? Okay, yes, freediving helps a lot. In fact, TJ uh, Baybal, I, I'm going to take that as a challenge for next challenge as a request for next week. Um, I'm going to I'm going to answer that one next week. I'm going to write that one and answer it next week. So thank you very much for that, and I'll see you next week. Thank you. Any questions, messages? or in the, in the comments. This, this will be online maybe tomorrow morning. Okay, 